In this session of Affinity Publisher, I'd like to talk about Kindle Direct Publishing and setting up a print job using, um, using the Kindle Direct Publishing templates. Now, you can see on the screen there that I've got the various print options and this is, of course, available KDP Amazon and there's all the trim sizes. Now, I'm going to set up three of these in... Well, I have set up three of these in Affinity Publisher and I'll take you through what I've done with them. I won't bore you by taking you through step by step each part of setting up the the document, but you'll see as we go along what it amounts to. So let's get rid of that one. What we've got here, now you can download these in Word format, but unfortunately they don't load into Kindle Publisher, um, <laughs> Affinity Publisher, but that's not a problem because what we've got I'm going to do the 5 by 8 inch document. That's the one on the left. Let's get that back up. The 5 by 8, the 8.27 by 11.69, 8.27 by 11.69, the one at the, the other end. And in the middle, we've got 5 by 8 at the top, um, 8. 6x9. Now why the 6x9? 6x9 is the most popular format used in the US publishing market. In Europe it's slightly different but not much and if you can do this you can do that. So here's the 6x9 one coming up. Let's just get rid of that. Now what we're looking at here, if I double click on that it's a paperback template. Now I might add I'm going to put all three of these up on my website. So you can download the files at your leisure and just load them in and make a few changes. Now the document setup will go to there. The layout, facing pages, in this case, horizontal starting on the right. 300 dpi if there's any images. The colour is CMYK because it'll be going to print, so you'll need CMYK. And the bleed is 0 0.125, 0 0.125, 0 0.125, but the inner edge is zero bleed because the inner edge is the binding edge, the edge on the inner edge of the book page. You don't need to worry about bleed there because it's going to be cut and stuffed into the fold of the book anyway. So that's your document setup. The spread setup is quite different because we've got lots of different spreads here. Now the spread setup includes margins of 0 0.76. Scaling is anchored into the center and the dimensions of the page a 5.125 inch, that's width, and the height is 8.25. Now you might think, hang on, we've got a 5 by 8 book here, why is it slightly bigger? That's to accommodate the bleed. So it's 5.125 wide, remember you've only got bleed on one edge, and the height, you've got 0.125 at the top and at the bottom, which comes to 0.25 the last time I did my math. Now, I'm not real good at math, but I think that one's okay. So there your dimensions, including bleed. If you find your way to that, uh, to the KDP website, you'll see all those, those um, measurements are there for you to follow. Now, the margins, I've got 0 0.76 all the way around because we can't do a mirror page on uh, Kindle, uh, on, on Affinity Publisher yet. Why do I keep saying Kindle? Well, Kindle's very good for the information they give you, and they give you lots of information. Now, page, master page two is slightly different. You'll see that looks very narrow because this page, the spread, is slightly different. The margins are 1.25 on the left, one inch, one inch, and one inch all the way around. It's a slightly different page. Now we're back to that one, 
and that's you can see just by looking at it that the spread set up there is 0.76 all the way around. Now the other thing of note here, have a look at this. Now I click in there and you'll see that that is a text. A frame text has been applied there, text frame has been applied there to put the word book title and author name in. These are copied directly from the Word documents that I got from the Kindle KDP site. Now it's not just Kindle but they do print books and the information they give you is quite good. But when you put your own in there, unless that is going to be your book title, this is not the cover page, this is the inside title page. You can put your book title and your author name there because I suspect that won't change for this book. But if you come along and do a second book, part two in the series, you don't want the original title in there. So I would suggest that this here is only to let you know what you put there. Before you actually use this as a master document, as a template, remove those. That, see that, that text frame? Remove the text frame. Remove that text frame. Remove that text frame. That's the dedication page, which could flow over onto that one. That's why that one's empty. Now, we've got a table of contents on the, see the V, Roman 5. So there's a table of contents on the fifth page. And there's room for that to spread into the sixth page. That too has, you can see in the layers panel, it's got a frame text there, text frame. Same there, same there, and same there. Now, of course, that's the first part of the body. That's the main body, chapter one and right on to chapter 54, if you like. So just be aware that you don't want to leave that there because that will replace, it's a master file, it's a master page. It will replace whatever you have <laughs> in your first page. Now let's have a look at the pages. There's page one. And you can see that's because that's the master page from number one in the master pages. The, that one there, master page one. It's book title. So even if you were to type something over the top of that, the master page will replace it. So if that is your only book, you could probably leave it. Um, I would be careful though. Anything that's in a master page will replace whatever is in the pages that you actually create. Same there. And there's the two pages side by side. And you can see that one there. The copyright page is a slightly different size than the other pages. Dedication. Now I haven't added any more pages to this one. And you can see that. Just rem It's really important that you remember that if you're going to put your own frame texts in here, you can see that one's locked because it's a master page. It's taken from the master page. Apply master. And there it is. One. But we won't do it because it's already been applied. That Roman numeral one. Okay, cancel that. So, what have we got on that side? And you can re you can apply any master you like, but it's master three in that case, which I won't do. We'll cancel because I don't want to confuse you any more than you possibly already are. But you can see there's two pages in that group. Page 3 and page 2. Page 2 is that one. Page 3 is that one. That's how easy it is. Now let's have a look at paperback template 8.27 by 11.69. That's a slightly bigger book, obviously. Now why has this got a bleed around it? I forgot to mention that before. It's got a bleed because some of your books, this is print, Remember, not Kindle, not digital, this is print. So you can actually have images in there. And remember, anything that's outside of your margin is um, subject to things happening, like cutting off the edge of the page. And that's what that bleeds for. You can have an image that goes out to the edge there, 
but it will be cut off. That bleed allows the printer to cut that edge off. So that's fairly straightforward. I'm sure by now you understand those things. Let's go up to the top, the spread setup, 0.76 all around again. The dimensions in this case, 8.395 by 11.94. That's 8.27 plus 125. That's 11.69 plus 0.25 because your bleed margins are on that side and not that side. I'll cancel that. If we got pages, there's our pages. And again, that's been applied there and you can see it's locked in place because if you want to get rid of that, you have to go back to your master page there and alter your master page or actually just delete that information that's in there. That's easy to do because there it's not locked. It's frame text and you can just delete it. And then you go down to the page and put your own frame text in there or put a new frame text in there and put whatever you like in there. Put a picture if you like. But, you know, have a look at books that you're reading and you'll see how it works. Now the next one, I've gone to a bit more trouble and put a few more pages in it. Here's your book title again. Let's have a look at the spread layout. 8.125, uh, 6.125 and 9.25 because you've got the bleed in there. Margins of course are 0.76 again, scaling, centre, that's the same. Let's just cancel that because we don't want to change that. Now you can see that I've got all the pages there all the master pages, very much the same. If you wanted to make other size documents, just copy this and modify the sizes. It's a bit of a painstaking process, but it's easily done. You've just got to make sure you get everything, otherwise you'll have odd borders. The one thing I wish this could do, and it doesn't, is create gutters. That means on the inner edge of your document, where the fold of the book is, where your spine is, the inner edge of the page is slightly wider between the edge of the page and the margin than the outside. So you can have 0.75 there and one inch there. One inch there, 0.75 there. It's called mirroring. Now, Microsoft Word does it, just about everything does it, except at the moment, Affinity Publisher doesn't. But not to worry, we're getting there. Okay, back to book title. Now we come down here to page one. Before I go too far, let me clear those for a moment, get them out of the way. There's number three, page four, page five, V for five. Let's go down here. Find the pages, two, three, four. There's page five there, you can see. I've, I've added pages, I've added, should have 14, 15 pages in there now. I want page 5, but on page 5 here is where the table of contents will be. So in this case, I can apply the master. We go up here and find page V for 5. And click on OK. And you can see in there, it hasn't changed, it hasn't changed book title yet because I haven't double clicked there. And there's the page I want there. That's page five, three, four, five, and you can see it there. That's that one there. What's on page four? Page four is blank. Page three, there's page three there. Page four and page five. Page six and seven. Nothing on page six because the table of contents might probably will be more than one page. So you can add pages in there. That's five, six, seven. There's page seven. Apply the master. Apply seven. 
there it'd say there's eight now there's the body with this is the main storyline and I've got two text frames there so after the acknowledgement there's page seven five six seven eight page eight sorry so page eight now like all good stories page nine is where your story actually starts and that's that one there that one there so let's apply the master and it's that one there and you can see there double click and of course what we've got here is I appear to have that's not very dramatic is it I appear to have a margin slightly out but that's all right that's easily fixable go back to the document that's the master page spread setup margins 7676 so the margins are okay that's okay I'm looking at the size 4.605 by 773 4.749 4.4.605 nudge it across to where it should be Now what I did with that one was just copy and paste. There we go. Margins are the same size. 4.605, 773 down here. There we go. Right down the bottom right hand corner in case you've lost the mouse. But now if we go back to page 9. There's where your story starts. On the physical page 9. What else can I show you? Well, that's about all we have at the moment. Master pages. We can close those. Now, because you're going to want to write your own story, remember you have to see the little X's? That means it's locked. If you want to change that, and I recommend you do, then go along to the master pages and replace those text frames. You can get rid of them all together if you like. But if you want to set up your pages the same as I've got here, turn that off. That's the title, copyright, dedication. Dedication might roll over. You might have a lot of people you want to talk about. Contents, table of contents, that rolls over. Acknowledgement. Acknowledgements might roll over. Or you might have something else on there. You might want to talk about your dog on there. And your story starts down here. Now you can see I've got something on the left hand page there. But forget that because you can actually delete that. And so I will. Because your story starts there. No problem at all. File. Save. And that's all there is to it. Let's hope you've enjoyed that. Um, remember the, the three files, those three files I'll put up on my websites. There's two websites. My main one, robert-chalmers.uk and a similar, um, a similar URL over on wix.com. Um, I'm slowly moving my server to wix to get it off the home server here.
which is not a problem and it may or may not ever happen, but for the time being, they're both there. Thanks for watching. I hope you've thoroughly enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe, spread the love. I really appreciate it.